Hey guys, welcome to day 12 of 30 Days of Content. Today we are here at the Hard Rock here in City Walk at Universal Orlando. And we are going to do a food review for you. Let's get inside. So come on. Oh yeah, and John's here. Hey everybody. So come on and join us. fun thing about hard rock is it's always got music blaring yes. really loud so at all times not going to show much of the outside <laughs> and some of this may be voiceover we'll have to see as you enter in you have the rock shop over here which we'll check out before we leave and we're getting checked in here they do have a photo off for you to do before you sit down they have all kinds of tables all over the place and it actually goes upstairs too. And when you do take your photo, they let you hold this guitar, which is pretty cool. All right, here's a look at the menu here. Beers, brats, and beets. This is kind of a few like little specials that they have here. Jumbo pretzel, bratwurst, schnitzel sandwich, and Sam Adams Oktoberfest. And here's just a quick overview of the menu. Look at this. This is a total Oktoberfest menu here. Only available during Oktoberfest. A schnitzel sandwich sounds really good, but you know what? I don't know if I'm going to get that. So I have decided to go with the really boring option today. Um, the bacon, a barbecue bacon cheeseburger. John says it's good. It's good. It's good. So I don't think I've ever tried this one. I've always done the regular cheeseburger or the double decker cheeseburger. But we're gonna find out today. So we're not getting anything interesting other than that. John, do you know what you're leaning John towards? John doesn't know what he's getting. And John, here I John thought. was not given an assignment. <laughs> Normally it's go order this. I was not given an assignment. Oh. I was left to my own devices. So Poor that's a John. problem. Poor John. He doesn't know what to do on his own like that. He just No, when you're a food blogger, they tell you what to get and you just get it. <laughs> camera keeps trying to focus on this gentleman behind me. I'm so sorry. And sir, if you're watching this video, I do apologize. He's gonna be boring. I am going to get something I've actually not gotten in Hard Rock before, but I would get it elsewhere. I'm gonna get the Duo Combo Fajitas, which is chicken and steak. That sounds good. I mean, it seems boring for a food blogger based on the fact that I've come here and had the messy chicken sandwich and I've had all kinds of stuff, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I can't wait to hear your review. <laughs> exactly. Out of these three, <laughs> what is your favorite condom? Yeah. You don't know, do you? Oh, I know. I'm going to have to go with this one for me. You're going ketchup? Yeah. I, of those three, that would be mine. I am partial to the brown mustard. This is not brown mustard. Now, are you one of the people like my brother who likes to mix these two together? No. Um, no. no. I have an interesting story I'll tell you off camera about no. how I about puked when he ate that one time. No. It's cool, all the art they have in here. Look at the Beatles up there. It's awesome. And here too. Oh, there's a whole John Lennon uh, plaque here. It's pretty cool. He's around. John's just going around getting pictures of pink Cadillacs over there. Whose pink Cadillac was that? If you don't know, drop it down in the comments. But it's a pretty famous person. I do want it to be known. That if you have a birthday, you can tell them, and they will shout for everyone to hear. So, just keep that in mind. If you come to dine here, and you have a birthday, and you want to really embarrass somebody, yep. it's a really good way to do it. Do they give you a cake? No. You don't know if they give you a cake? Oh, well. I guess I have to tell them it's John's birthday. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Oh, look at that. John's hot plate. Yeah, there's irony there. Okay. All right, here we go. The barbecue bacon burger looks amazing. We're going to try this out. Of course, they do have a little flag. It wouldn't be hard rock without the flag, right? <laughs> the knife in the middle. 
Yep, gotta have that. a look at John's food. Oh my goodness. Steaming up the camera there, John. And yeah. then here's all this sides over here. Your, you may have your mayonnaise, your condiment choices here. You know? Yes, all my condiment choices over there. Look at all that. It looks delicious. Let's cut this thing up real quick. Oh, I just removed the whole thing. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're gonna take our first bite into this thing. Even though I obliterated it a little bit. You don't need to hold your camera. No, I'm good. Okay. All right, here we go. Wow. That is delicious. That's really good. And got all these stringy things on it. Let me show you a little bit closer because this look, this is really good. You can see the inside there. It's kind of falling apart now, but my goodness. This is delicious. Really good. I'm gonna get John's reaction in just a minute. Okay, let's see how big a mess we can make. Are we good? We're good. Okay, we're going in people. I cannot wait to hear a professional food blogger's assessment. Tortillas are soft. This is always a good thing. You can always struggle with that. Flavor is decent with tortilla. Um, plenty of sides to go with this. That's a plus. Um, steak is prepared properly. You gotta kinda like onions because they have a lot of onions with that, but that's really important with any of this. Um, Overall, this is a reasonable choice. I mean, obviously, you're getting fajitas at a non tex mix place. But other than that, so far, my first bite was good. It's good to hear. Would you get it again? Um, I cannot answer that until I finish. But so right. far, I would not be opposed to it. All right, let's find out at the end. <laughs> well, as my mom used to say back in the day, this is how you properly finish your meal. You throw your napkin on the plate. And I don't know where she got that from, but she tried to give us like instructions of how to have etiquette and how to be fancy. So she would say, you properly finish your meal by throwing your napkin on the plate. If that is true, let me know down in the comments. Anyway, that burger was delicious from beginning to end. Really good choice. I would re recommend it for anyone. It's 19.99. It's a little on the higher end, but this is the higher end. Restaurant and steam parks. So what do you expect? You know, I mean, this is in a theme park. It should be, right? Have their own roller coaster in here, you know, and everything. But I thought it was pretty decently priced. All right, from the professional food blogger. Wow, it's ahead. professional. Professional means I get paid. Okay, uh, fajitas. You can see I finished them off. They come in two plates, which is really good. Where your your large uh, things put on top, and then this. Um, everything I had was good and well prepared, but large but but if you're looking for the more of the mesquite or the Tex-Mex or any of those kind of flavors you won't get that here because Hard Rock's trying to cater to a larger audience and so as a result everything's a little more in my world we would call it a little more Walt Disney World flavored as opposed to Universal at Walt Disney World everything is a little <laughs> less seasoned and a little more bland <laughs> sorry for those of you missing this we'll see if John keeps it in there's laughter happening Whereas usually over at Universal, there's a little more seasoning, but it's not, it's theme park level seasoning. Nothing about this was bad. Everything was really well prepared, um, but it was, wasn't anything overwhelming where you're like, oh wow, this is the best tasting feed as I've ever had. But if somebody wants to bring you to Hard Rock, wants to go to Hard Rock, and you don't want a burger, you don't want you know the bar pulled pork, this is a nice, safe option that your picky eater will love. All right, there you hear it from the food blogger. Okay, and you have to message me that because I need I need a transcript when I write the review, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh, I love this shirt. Look at that. Rock is not dead. Available at the Hard Rock Hotel. And here, the Hard Rock Cafe. That is pretty awesome. There's one design there. And here is the other one. That is pretty awesome. And I do like this cup too, this is pretty cool. It says Orlando on the side, $25. They have tons of merch in here. It is pretty awesome. Look at all this. And they even have a John that you can take home. It's pretty amazing. All the different shirts they have here, like here's the Messi shirts, Chef Messi, 
And then... Be careful. I'm a single guy. We should be careful. Thank you. <laughs> and all the drumsticks up here. This is amazing. It's just so cool. Some of the Harley Davidson line here too. Just cool. And take a look at this. You can actually buy some drumsticks. You gotta go with the blue, right? Orlando. These things are $25. You know, musical equipment, it's expensive. <laughs> and then they do have this one in a hoodie. This is really cool. That is awesome. They have all kinds of cool stuff in here. And there you have it. That was our day out here at the Hard Rock Cafe here in City Walk at Universal Orlando. Really good food, really good options. It's not the cheapest, but not the most expensive either. But it's always a good burger. Every time I come here, I always get a good burger. And according to John, you get good fajitas too. You do, I mean, they're, they're quality fajitas. I mean, if you're looking for something from like Chewy's or on the border or something like that, they're not gonna taste like that, but they were good. Not gonna, don't, don't even, don't even, don't even think you're gonna get that here. Right. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. And remember, the road goes ever on. I'll see you guys next time.